What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are playing with makeup from a brand that is brand new to me. It is the brand Ilia and it comes from the Clean at Sephora section. I'm a huge fan of this section at Sephora. Everything on there interests me. You guys know I'm a Glossier rep. I'm a big fan of Glossier. We haven't talked about Glossier on my channel in a while because they haven't put out a new product in a while. So I'm really excited to be able to try another brand that gives me that same glowy face of makeup that's kind of your face but better. So today we're going to be trying the mm, True Skin Serum Foundation. So it's going to give us a skin finish, hopefully. We also have the Multi Stick. I am so on the fence slash remain to be convinced about Multi Sticks. Thrive put out a few Multi Sticks. They don't cooperate with the rest of the makeup, in my opinion. Like a Multi Stick is in and of itself maybe the only thing that you wear. It doesn't really go with powder. So we're going to be trying that today, and then I also got I'm really excited about this. I put this on my like hand while I was in Sephora, and I was like, girl, I don't care that this is over $40 for a freaking, like, I don't know, a stick. But this is the Cucumber Water Stick, and this is the first thing that I'm going to be sticking on my face before we go in with the foundation. But first, I want to read you guys just a little bit kind of about these products. So the foundation is $54, you guys. This stuff is not cheap. I waited for the Sephora Rouge 20% off weekend to buy all of this stuff. So it's $54. It comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It only comes in 10 shades, but I think that because it's a serum foundation, they're probably assuming that, you know, we're gonna be able to sheer out to blend things. I mean, the Glossier foundation only comes in like four shades. It says, weightlessly delivers buildable light to medium coverage with a velvety finish while nourishing skin with a powerful blend of botanical actives for a flawless complexion. I love having really high-end skincare in my makeup. I think that it makes a huge difference. The uh, Thrive foundation, the Thrive powder, like their stuff does really pack that and I notice a difference. And so I am willing to pay a little bit more for a product like this if it's got really great high-end skincare in it. Aloe leaf, rose hip, jojoba, and marula oil soothe the irritations and tame redness, plump fine lines, gotta love that, and ensure the formula effortlessly melts into skin for a more even, luminous appearance, blurs imperfections, and minimizes pores for a complexion that looks refined and refreshed and leaves your skin looking like skin. So I've worked so hard to get my skin as clear as it is right now. I have a skincare routine, an evening routine video coming out soon where you guys will get to see all of that in action. But bottom line, I am so excited to wear makeup and to be able to wear makeup that makes my skin look like skin at the end of the day and not have to wear full coverage all the time. So guys, let me zoom you in and we will talk about the rest of these products and put some makeup on my visage. Hello, it me. So we have the cucumber water stick here. It says a unique take on toner packaged in a solid form that gives an immediate boost of cooling to the skin to balance and prep for makeup application. Future khaki here. I wanted to tell you guys that I did end up returning that stick. Not because it's a bad product necessarily, just because when I opened it, it would pop out and like land on the floor. <laughs> it's just put together really poorly and it was very frustrating to use because it doesn't unscrew like that packaging. It, it, it takes a pretty strong grip to kind of like pull the top off of the bottom. And when I would, like the stick would pop out every time and it hit the ground a couple of times and I just got really frustrated with it. So it's a beautiful product but they need to re-engineer the actual packaging on it. So my, my review and my love of it still stands on this, but uh, I wanted to let you guys know. Infused with a blend of natural ingredients, including cucumber pulp to aid in depuffing, aloe to help soothe, and chicory root to assist in stimulating cell renewal. Great to use on the go to refresh and revitalize face and body. Hi, Ollie. I left the door open, so now my dog is here. That was all, that was it. Revitalize face and body, that was it. And then it just goes into another language, so anyway. This obviously doesn't have a shade to it or anything. And for the price, hi, sweetie. Hi. I wish you guys could see him, but I don't want to change my framing. This is still. <laughs> you guys, the cucumber water stick is $42 and you get 0.9 ounces. And this is what she looks like when you open her up. Let's see, I think you just can do this and it'll push up. Yeah, just like a deodorant. So this is what she looks like. I tried this on my hand in the store and it's just really, really cooling. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull out a mirror here. Not that it matters, but I'm 
trying, oh my god, that feels so good. <gasps> I'm trying to get away from using my viewfinder. Oh, go under the eyes, brighten, lift, brighten, lift. I have not been sleeping well. <laughs> oh, heavens, that feels incredible. <gasps> oh. You know when you go to the spa, you know, like you do, and uh, and they serve you cucumber water and you're like, hmm, this is kind of like cooling and refreshing. That's what this feels like. It feels so, oh my gosh. And it really sinks in. That's really, really nice. I don't really know what to do with my hands. I just, I want to keep touching that. I want to keep putting it on. So that is a magical feeling product. Let's now go into my foundation. I ordered this online because am I the only one who feels like when you pull something off of a display at Sephora, it's got someone else's grimy hands all over it. Like no matter how far back you go in the display, like someone has already stuck their little phalanges in it. So anyway, this is the foundation. I got it in the shade Formentera. They don't have like, I mean, yes, there's a number, I think, SF1, but like the names are hard to remember. So, uh, so here we have, it's my hand, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna pump this out. And I like that this says it's medium to buildable coverage or light to medium. What did they say? This is as a weightlessly delivers buildable, buildable to medium. So. I'm optimistic because it says buildable to medium that we might get a little more coverage out of this than we would the Glossier because you guys know that the Glossier is like almost no coverage. Hmm. So, wow. Let's see here. I don't think that a brush is the tool for this. I kind of feel like the whole idea here might be to put this on with my fingers. So... I'm gonna do that. It smells like the ingredients. It smells like it has the rose, but not a rose scent, like not a rose fragrance. And it smells a little bit like oil. And I'm not a huge fan of the smell of oil myself. I just, I don't know. It always makes me think of like castor oil or something, but I'm sure that the oils that are in this are healthy oils. Going to look in a mirror here. <laughs> it's a little bit more coverage than I expected, but it's still not a lot and I like it. I like that it's very dewy. I will probably still go in with a little bit of concealer, probably my Glossier Stretch Concealer, because I don't know if they had a concealer. I don't think that they did. Okay, going in now with my Glossier Stretch Concealer. I have it in light. We're going to just kind of use this to touch little spots here. And I already know that I love this stuff and it really matches the texture and finish of this foundation. It does have a lot more coverage than the Glossier Skin Tint. I feel like it's about twice the amount of coverage as the Skin Tint, but Calling this buildable, hmm, I don't know about that because I feel like it has one, <laughs> one happy level of coverage and if you tried to build it up past that, it would probably just get kind of slippery. I'm gonna kind of camouflage here. That's really what I'm about. Now that, you know, my blemishes are fewer and farther between, I'm about camouflaging. There is something to be said for a really nice full face of makeup and feeling really confident like I did on my wedding day. Like I loved my makeup on my wedding day because I realized no matter what I did, I was gonna look pretty because dear God, it was like I had all of these like Cinderella birds around me just making sure that my hair looked perfect and my skin looked perfect and my lipstick looked perfect, and my dress looked perfect. I was like, eh, for once I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> so we are going to be wear testing this today and I wanna do that because I think that the main thing we all know about these beautiful, dewy, medium, light coverage makeup brands is that yes you end up with this really beautiful fresh face when you start but it has way less wear time usually than something that you pack with powder and you spray with a finishing spray and things so that said we're going to curb our expectations about that but i also don't want it to just devolve into something awful over the course of the day so we want to make sure well if it does that i show you guys that so Ilya does also make a translucent powder to the tune of 
$34. And that's really similar to a lot of other powders that I have, so I'm probably just going to be powdering at the end, but I don't want to powder before I use this multi-stick. So, the Ilia multi-stick combines natural ingredients and color with properties of vitamin E and shea butter. Apply to cheeks, lips, and eyes for a sheer blush of color. So I have this Gwyneth Paltrow dream, right? That someday I'm going to find this product that I could just put on in the dark and it makes me look gorgeous and flawless and effortless all at the same time. Like this is something that I see. I don't think there's anything wrong with a full face of makeup. I enjoy a full face of makeup, but there is something to be said for that. Like, oh, I only have three items of makeup in my entire collection. It takes me five minutes to put my face on in the morning. What's the big deal? What do you do? There's just something about that that I find appealing. So this is the multi-stick and oh boy, yes, she looks dark, but that is because I really was trying to mimic how much I love Storm in the Glossier Cloud Paint, and I know that this berry tone looks really good on my skin. I just don't know if it's gonna be the same kind of consistency as the Storm Cloud Paint, plus, <laughs> she's certainly not the same price. I think that Cloud Paint, you can get like two for 30 bucks, or maybe they're $22 a piece, but for this multi-stick, we are talking $34 for 0.15 ounces, so. There is more skincare in this ostensibly, but she's not cheap. So I'm going right on top of the foundation with no powder. And that is because this is a cream product. We wanna be really careful about that. So I'm going to take a little brush here from Thrive. This is one of their blush bronzer brushes and just spreading that out a little bit. I like these for cream products because they're so densely packed. I don't love them for powder products because they do tend to apply a lot of product at once when you do that. Oh my God, that's pretty. Wow, I had my, oh hey, my forehead still looks insane. See, that's why we look at the monitor. Oh man. So I love to embrace the natural flush pinkness of my skin. I think that that's kind of the easiest way to camouflage any kind of imperfections is to kind of embrace what your skin would naturally do. And then, I don't know, the eye just believes it a little bit better. You know, it's the total opposite end of the spectrum from doing a full coverage makeup look and then kind of bringing all the color back into your skin after the fact. This is just gently enhancing what nature might have done had she been a little kinder to each of us. So I am kind of getting it a little bit of places that I don't want, it has nothing to do with the product, but this is really easy to work with. One of the things that I noticed, especially about working with Glossier, it actually takes longer to put on a Glossier face of makeup because you're doing it with your fingers and everything is very detailed. I think that our muscle memory does a, a really good job of shortening the process when we're working with full coverage. And then when you work with light coverage, you kind of have to play and then check it and then play and then check it. So this is a multi-stick, so I'm gonna put an eyelet here. I've always wanted a lip color version of the Storm Cloud Paint because I think it looks so pretty, but it never stays on my lips. And so whenever, I put it on my lips, I just always end up kind of, it just brushes off really easily. So I'm gonna also put that there. And just do a little bit of that. Girls out there who are pale, do not be afraid of a berry tone. I think that I was so scared of a berry tone for so long because I was like, oh, it's too dark. It's gonna make me look vampy. It's gonna make me look like I've just got into someone else's makeup, you know? But a berry tone when it's sheared out really nicely makes you look like a little Nordic child. <laughs> or at least me. I feel like it makes my cheeks look like I just took a run around the block in like, you know, 20 degree weather. So that is really pretty. There's no gloss to this. So putting this on my lips, it's just a stain, which I actually really, really like. We are gonna be trying Kosas Beauty on my channel at some point too, which is this really interesting tinted oil foundation, very similar in idea to this stuff, but it's not at Sephora yet. It's just kind of a, you know, on the internet brand that I found. But I love the idea of an oil foundation that's just like a tinted oil, because I do love using kind of beauty oils on my skin. But yeah, I just kind of want to start including in the repertoire on my channel 
these more lightweight, more natural faces of makeup that are really skincare oriented. So that is all of the products that I tried. And you guys, with my like, I don't know, 20% discount that I got at Sephora, I think this was still a hundred dollars. This is crazy. Like it's pretty stinking expensive stuff, but if you are the kind of person who wants a few items in your entire collection and that's it, and you want to make sure that it's packed with skincare, you know, that might be worth it to you if you're not like me and just, you know, collect $129 eyeshadow palettes for fun. And another thing here is that I usually have to go back in and touch up this concealer. That has nothing to do with Ilia. It's just the Glossier concealer. All the Glossier stuff, I don't really understand the science because what tends to happen with Glossier is that you put it on and then it all settles into your skin and fades a little bit and then you kind of have to put more on like five minutes later. Or the way that my friend Katie does it, she just puts on a ton of cloud paint and then understands that over the next like half hour or so it's all gonna just chill. I don't understand why it does that. All right, I'm gonna take a small brush and that is what I'm going to use for powder underneath my eyes because I don't want to powder my whole face. I'm going to use the Too Faced Banana Powder. This stuff is almost not even a powder. I wore it yesterday and I was like, oh, this will be great. It's just, you know, so nice for the, uh, the weather and stuff like it's not going to give me any kind of like packed on look but you know it's going to really freeze my makeup. I got greasy really fast but once I used a blotting sheet it was fine but it just wasn't what I was used to. I'm used to working with the Thrive and the Thrive, the Thrive locks your stuff in okay. You hit that with a finishing spray at the end and like you've got a new face of skin on <laughs> its ultimate. Like it actually increases the coverage on your makeup so I don't want to do that. So just applying with a little duo fiber brush from Sigma, this is the F50. I want everything to set a little bit and then also it helps it so that like cat hair doesn't stick to my face over the course of the day. Also, if I wanted to wear a mascara, you don't wanna have really dewy stuff right around your eyes if you're gonna wear mascara because then no matter what mascara you use, it's never gonna completely dry down. It's gonna like try and stick to your skin every time you open your eyes. And so I do like to set around my eyes in some way if I'm going to use a mascara. Should we do another Glossier giveaway soon? I haven't done any Glossier giveaways because they haven't come out with any new products recently. They came out with a zit stick, but I want makeup. I want them to come out with a new makeup. I don't know what it would be. And I'm not one of those people who just like haunts their Reddit page where people sleuth out all of the patents and uh, trademarks that they're trying to file for. Like, you know, it's all public information. And so people go looking to see what Glossier is going to put out next. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I love Glossier, but I also like being surprised. So I'm going to take another kind of round of shadow here. Put that up there underneath my eyes really set the foundation or the concealer just a little bit more. I will throw on a little bit of mascara. We're using the Thrive Mascara as usual. Just gonna throw it on my top lashes. Nice light coating. Just me or could we put on some more of this? I'm actually going to put this on the brush. Put a little more on. We know whenever I get done with a makeup look, I always put on more blush. It's just what I love. A little goes a long way. I mean, we just barely touched the tip of this, but I do think this might move your makeup around quite a bit if you were using your fingers. So I would recommend using a tool of some kind, whether it be a sponge or a densely packed foundation brush. But look at that, you can see my freckles through it and everything. I'll get close to the camera here in just a second and show you guys the finish. And a little highlighter never hurt anybody. I'm going in with the Upgrade Highlighter in Backstage Pass from PYT and I have been really loving this. In fact, you guys have been commenting on videos being like, what highlighter is that? It's awesome because all of the particles are really, really small. So it doesn't give a glitter finish. It just gives this really unbelievable glow. Super pretty on dewy skin. I'm gonna give this a ceremonial spritz from the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter. Just, you know, because why not? Not sure that that's really setting anything because there's barely any powder on my face, but just 
because we can say that we did. So let me turn the lights away here. So absolutely beautiful, looks like skin. It is on the sheer end of the spectrum of my favorite kind of foundation, which is a dewy skin finish foundation. I like to wear these kinds of foundations because as they wear off over the course of the day, they look totally normal and natural. Like if you end up with no makeup on by the end of the day, there's no weird patchiness, unless, you know, obviously we lose some of this blush or something, but I do feel confident in the fact that if I needed to reapply, it wouldn't be too big of a deal to reapply that multi-stick. I like it on my lips. It feels totally different than the cloud paint and it feels a lot different than I thought that it was going to. I thought it was going to be very dewy and it was going to move around a lot, but it's actually like a really nice stain and it's not super, super high pigment. They do have lipsticks, but I just wanted to go with the multi-stick because I thought it was going to be more practical for me. The banana powder worked really well on top of it, I think. It just set the makeup enough without really changing the identity of that finish, so... I really like this. <laughs> this is definitely my personal preference of aesthetic and I know that that's a little surprising because I think being on the internet, being a YouTuber who focuses on testing beauty products, most people are used to seeing what, I don't know, I've heard referred to as like reverse autopsy of just layering on tons of makeup and just totally transforming your face. One of the first blog posts that I ever did on my now defunct blog, which I might bring back, maybe I will, it was called What's Wrong With Your Face? And the first thing it said was like, the answer is simple, nothing. Like there's nothing wrong with your face. <laughs> and I do think that sometimes we get caught up in all these tips and tricks on how to fix your face. And by doing so, we are also assuming that there's something wrong with your face. I don't think that there is anything wrong with your everyday makeup being a power of makeup kind of look, you know, even with like lashes and the full nine. Like if you don't have eyebrows, girl, draw them on. Like, you know, more power to you. The whole point is to be happy in your skin. And for me, a lot of times over the course of the day, I will be wearing a full face of makeup and I will want to scrub it off. I will just be like, this doesn't feel like me. I love, after, like I said, working so hard to get clear skin, I love, and I'm grateful for, gratitude month, the ability to wear a really, really lightweight face of makeup. It's wonderful. So I do have SPF on underneath this. There's no SPF in this, to my knowledge, no. Also, my face doesn't really match my body right now because I do have self-tan on, so didn't really think about that, but that's okay. So guys, we are going to wear test this all day. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna go about my business. I have a bunch of products that I need to like open up and test. I have a bunch of emails that I need to answer. The crazy life of a small YouTube influencer, right? So uh, yeah, gonna, gonna get to that. I just scratched my face. Awesome. And, uh, and I will see you guys at the end of my day. What up fam? I am back in my Halloween costume. Don't worry. You're not like in some kind of time warp. This is just me doing it for the second time, not for the video. So yeah, I have extensions in right now. Let's talk about this foundation. What time is it? Okay. It is 10 p.m., which means that I've had this on for almost 12 hours. <laughs> I put this on at 10.30 this morning. It is definitely a longer wearing foundation than the Glossier. It's like you took the Glossier skin tint and you made it a longer wearing formula. I didn't barely powder it. You know what I mean? I used just a very little amount of powder and still it didn't really break up on me. I will say, this kind of formula that's meant to kind of stay dewy doesn't support a lot of powder. So where I put the highlight you guys saw me put on, it started to break up sooner than everything else. And so I think it really helped immensely for the wear time of this to use a very, very fine, very lightweight face powder to set it, if you set it at all. You might even use like a mattifying setting spray or something like that in lieu of powder. Either way, this worked out really nicely. One of the things that I'm really excited about is the multi-stick on my cheeks. The cloud paint doesn't last this well. I really love the cloud paint. I love the tone of Storm, but this is very similar to the tone of Storm and it really stays all day. I mean, 12 hours later and nothing really broke up on me too badly in the places where I had a little bit of it wanting to break up because I had put the highlighter on. All I had to do was kind of like tap my finger on it and it smoothed it back out. The skin is still really dewy. Everything looks really natural. It's just kind of like my face, but better. I know that this finish and this level of coverage doesn't appeal to everybody, 
but if you came here to watch a video on whether or not you should buy Ilia, this is what I think you can expect. Is a long wearing, I mean long wearing, a very politely wearing over 12 hours really beautiful dewy foundation. Is it going to give you a bunch of coverage? No, but I think that the nature of this product, we already knew that, right? The thing that your money is going toward here, I think is A, it's a little bit longer wearing, but B, I feel like I was wearing skincare all day. That is where I feel like this makeup is coming from. That is the angle that they are approaching this from. It's not a makeup that has skincare ingredients. It's like skincare that happens to have some pigmentation to it because my skin feels like I just slept in a bunch of really nice serums. Like that's just how it all feels. It's all very lightweight. I kind of forget that I'm wearing it. You know, the same way you would wake up after doing a really nice overnight mask or something like that. I get done with my day and my skin looks a little bit plumper. It looks really bright and it feels really, really good and not heavy at all. So there is a skew to this and that is that I really like this kind of finish on a foundation. This is so, so beautiful. It's so easy to wear. That said, there are ways that this can go bad very easily. And I think that for what it is, it does a fantastic job and it is absolutely chock full of skincare ingredients. So I look in the mirror and I love what I see. I think it's really, really beautiful. I think this is 10 out of 10. It's very expensive. If you don't really care that much about the skincare ingredients and you're gonna wear a bunch of serums underneath your makeup anyway, go with Glossier you're probably not going to be disappointed. But if you're on the fence about shelling out the cash and you do really want something that packs a punch in terms of really great skincare, this is actually really fantastic and I'm going to continue using it. I'm very excited about it. So the stain on my lips actually lasted a little while. So that was really nice. In fact, I think it's still a little bit there. I really like how it stayed on my cheeks. And this, this baby right here, obviously you can't reapply this cucumber water stick because you're already wearing makeup but I want to put this next to my bed or like in the fridge and put it on right when I wake up in the morning. It I feels like it's gonna just have the effect of waking my skin up. As high-end makeup goes, I think that I accomplished all of my Gwyneth Paltrow dreams here. I feel really gorgeous and I'm loving, loving this makeup. So if you have any questions about this, ask them down below. I will do my best to answer them. If you want to see this compared side by side against something in the future, let me know. We can probably make that happen, especially during gratitude month. So guys, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. I make videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Central time, and we just talk about makeup and have fun. And I love interacting with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me today. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.